Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Listen, tap, tap, tap the like, share, and subscribe button and tap the notification bell up there so you can go get notified of, of my new videos. Listen, I have traditional food today, okay? Something that I grew up um, eating when I was really young, okay, that my grandmother used to make. <clears throat> infused with some something new. Yesterday, my daughter sent me a a video. She shared a video of this being made. Okay? I'm going to tell you what it is. It's made out of plantains with meat inside, right? <clears throat> and I sent it to my mother, and she said, I know how to make it. And I said, well, make it because I want to share it. All right? All right, this is made out of plantains and meat inside, right? Our traditions, Puerto Ricans, right? We make, see that? This is this is with the dough. You see it? I don't know if you can see it, but see? And then this one is made out of plantains, okay? Um, and then we have bacalaito. Anyone Puerto Rican out there watching me know? what I'm talking about, okay? Traditional bacalaito, okay? And the reason why I did this was because I have a little story time behind all this, and it's about my grandmother. She passed away, got rest her soul, when I was 16 years old. But <clears throat> I just wanted to, you know, talk about her, you know, to, and talk about the food she used to make. She was the true chef right there, okay? She was the true chef. But anyway, let's get started, okay? You already know I got my hot sauce. I got the the chile habanero, the green one, okay? I usually have the I usually have the green one, the the red one, or the in between one, which is the extra extra hard one. And I also have Tabasco sauce. When I was growing up eating this, I used to eat it with Tabasco sauce, okay? Only, not with no other hot sauce. And my grandmother was the hot sauce queen. But anyway, let's get this started. You know I want to eat before I um, start talking. Now look, I've never tried this before. This is my first time, so I'm going to try it now. And let me on. Let me open this. Okay. How you guys are doing? I hope you guys are doing fine. Because I'm doing great. I'm doing real good. I'm doing real good. Mmm. Oh my God, I just love it. Let me taste it. Let me taste it without. Mmm. Look at that. Mmm. Okay, let me do a thumbnail first. Hold on. Let me do a thumbnail. <laughs> okay. Let me do a thumbnail first. I'm going to grab this like this, just like this. And a bacalaito, right? Like this. And I'm going to go like this. Yes. Uh huh. With glasses or without glasses. All right. Okay, let's get started. Let's get started because I'm dying. I'm dying to eat this. I haven't eaten this in years. Years and years and years and years. I have not eaten this um, or made it, you know, and, and I do make it. You know? Mmm. Mm-hmm. Look at the meat inside. Very good. My mother made it, of course. She make she makes my food. You know? Mm. I have to do this. And you already know I got my my vinegar water. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. -hmm. mm. Oh my god, this tastes so good. Mm. I'm gonna eat all of it because I know how everything else tastes. My mother's made this years and years and years. I grew up on this. You know, like the cuchi frito? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Spanish restaurants where they sell um all this and this they um they sell um penil, you know? Oh my god. 
Mm, mm, mm. Fritura is what it's called in Spanish. Fritura, fried food. You know? Mm, 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 mm. Let me get a napkin. Mm. Food one that one almost came out my mouth. <laughs> no, stay in there. I'm going nowhere. Mm, 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 mm. Yes. Oh, this is so good. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so that's one. Now, we have meat um, patelito and we have beef patelito, right? So, this is the cheese one, yes. Look at the cheese. See the cheese? Mmm. Mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I like this one. You know, most of the time when they used to make it when I was little, the ones they used to give for the kids was the cheese one. Most most of the time. You know? But I have a story time for you. Mm hmm Mm. Yes, I do. Tabasco sauce. Mmm. Yes. Mm. Mm hmm I don't want to get too full because I want to eat more of the of this one. This one tastes really good, and I want to get the meat one down, and I want to get some bacalaito down too. Mm hmm Cause this is this is like oh my god. Mm. Yes. And like I always say, it's nothing like. Home cooked food. It's not it's very healthy, you know. Clean. Mmm. The bacalaito. Look, look how beautiful it is. Look at it. And it's cooked. Look at this. You hear that? Mmm. Mm. This one goes good with tobacco sauce. Yes. Yes, this one goes good with tobacco sauce. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh my god. Mm. Mm. I'm going way back. I am going way back in time. In my childhood. Yeah. You know? I'm a 70s child, so. And my grandmother and my mother, they were hustlers. Back when I was growing up, they were hustlers. We were never homeless or anything like that. Okay? Because they used to hustle. What? They used to hustle food. They used to sell food. Yes. And th that's where my story's going to start. I'm going to tell you what they did. My grandmama and my mother... Mm -hmm. I know she remembers. She's right there watching me. Yeah. So, they went and they started a, a stand, you know, with um the gas and everything, and they, they had it built and everything, okay? And they used to sell them for a dollar. All these things. Well, not this one. But the bacalaito and the patelito, they used to sell them for a dollar when I was little. Okay? Mm. And in the house, this is it. This is where I'm getting to right now. You know, little kids, can I get some? Can I have some? Can I get some? You know? So while they were frying them at home, you know, making them at home, you know, to sell. <laughs> We used to be like, can I get one? Can I get one? Can I? By the end of the day, we had like 10. Oh, we, we threw down like 10 or 15. Now, what, now, wait a minute. It was me and my brother. When all this was going on, it was me and my brother. And then it was other kids. It was um my brother's um aunts and uncles. They were around the same age, okay, that they came from Puerto Rico and they stayed with my mom. And so imagine four kids... <laughs> Four of us saying, Ma, can I get one? 
Mom, can I get one? So four kids times 10 or 20, that's 40, 50 dollars right there if you're selling this for a dollar piece. You know? And I remember one time my grandma said, stop it. Stop begging. We have to sell this. We have bills to pay. <laughs> Let me tell you, my grandmother, she was the sweetest, sweetest woman in the world. She used to feed everybody in the neighborhood. Everybody in the neighborhood, okay? And she was an alcoholic. So she was drinking from a.m. to p.m., okay? But she still fed people. She was still a beautiful person, very helpful, you know, very humble. And she did not know a lick of English. She didn't know a lick of, of English. She could not talk English. But she knew how to curse. She knew how to curse. I'm telling you right now. I'm going to have a meat one. I think this was cheese. Let's see this one. Let me see. No, this is cheese. I got to open them because I don't know what's cheese, what's meat. Let me see. Yes. Look at this. I found it. Ah. Ah. Mm. I'm being greedy right now. I'm not eating the, the crust. This is so good. People. Mm -mm -mm. Yes. And it, they're so easy to make. Oh my God. You could, this is so easy. You can make them little. You can make them big. You could do hors d'oeuvres. Oh my God. You could do. You could, you could, you could do a lot. You could make them sweet. You could put cream cheese in it. You could put, um, um, guayaba paste in it. Oh my goodness. And have it for breakfast. Mm-mm. This is really good. Oh my god. So you guys you already know guys that I'm the oldest, so I was always behind that, my grandmother. Always, always, always. She she bathed me all the way up until I was thirteen years old. Okay? And with powder, she would put powder on me and everything. She was she was my baby. She was my she was everything. And she passed away when I was sixteen. I was devastated. I was really, really hurt behind it. I'm going to put both so both hot sauces on it. <laughs> Only because the green one is really spicy and this one isn't. But this is what what brings me back to um, my childhood memories and eating these frituras. Frituras is just fried, fried food. Fried, fried fast food. Uh -huh. mm. Mm. And there's um the relleno de papa. Which, which I didn't want to include. You know? It's made out of potato. And it's a meat potato. It's meat inside. And it's fried. And it's really good too. I have alcapurria. Which is something like this. But it's different. It tastes like pateles. Oh my god. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Oh my god. This is so good. Mmm. Wow. I'm not going to be eating. You know I don't eat a lot. But I just wanted everything to look so nice because it's something so simple. But it's good. It's fast and it tastes really, really good. With ground beef. You make it with ground beef. Cheese. Anything. You can put anything in it. And a lot of different cultures make this. You know? So going back to... My grandmother, she used to work in a restaurant. She was a chef in a in a in a restaurant. You talking about the best food that you can take, think about, and eat? Oh my lord! She used to make guanime. Oh my goodness! She used to make um um bacalao with um with bianda. Oh my lord! Get down. That was the man. That was the man, the man lady in that kitchen. What? Oh, my God. Acapulia, pateles, patelitos. Uh-uh. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. Mm, mm. Yes. Mm. This is really, really, really good. What, mommy? Oh. Ooh. Oh, my God. Mm. 
guys, you gotta try this. Look how juicy. And it's too hot. You see the smoke? Look at that. Look at that meat. Look at that. I'm, I'm gonna open it real good for you so you can see how good that is. Mm, 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 mm. It's all mine! <laughs> it's all mine! Today's Tuesday, guys. You know, it's usually Taco Tuesday. You know, but I've done tacos, you know, quite a bit. And I really didn't want to do tacos again today. I wanted to do something different, something traditional, something, you know. Because my channel, you know, I talk about myself and I talk about the, the my experiences and my family, you know. And, you know, why not with traditional food that we usually make? You know? Mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. This is so good. Oh. Wow. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I always said this, mommy, te botaste. Te botaste, te botaste. With this one right here, I could eat this all day. I could eat this right here, mommy, this platano, with, with the thing. I could eat this all day. <laughs> oh, my goodness. This is a meal. It's a meal. It, it's, it's, a, it's a grabbable meal. Mmm. Mmm. -mm. Mmm. If you're making it for kids... You could put vegetables in it, like top it up real good with the with the ground beef. Come on, let's be creative, moms. Let's be creative, moms. And get these vegetables down with these kids. Mm. Mm. Wow, ma. When the food is good and she throws down, I get like that. I get excited. I get happy because I like good food, good flavored food. That's just my thing. My food has to be seasoned well. And and I don't mean salt. Because salt, we don't we don't put salt in our food, but we use a lot of natural natural seasonings, you know? Especially her um her sofrito. That's something that's another thing. That is another world right there. Like, I want the world to taste her sofrito. I'm not lying. I want the world to taste it. It's so good. Oh, I put the I put the vinegar water today in the freezer because I had just made it and I know the water was cold, but I added more vinegar in it. And if it's not cold, <coughs> mm -mm -mm. oh excuse me, I do not drink it. So you hear the ice? It's ice in it. Because when you drink it fast and cold, it tastes like water. You know, it only tastes like vinegar afterwards that you finish drinking it. You could taste the vinegar. But during, as you're drinking it, it's just so cold, you know, and it helps you drink it, you know. If you have issues with um, weight problems, you could talk to your doctor and, and ask your doctor about this vinegar water. I know people do um, the... The vinegar gummies, the vinegar um pills, but the best way to to utilize this to keep your weight down, the grease your weight down, is to really do it. Get the get the vinegar, the the what you call that, mom? Uh, the um, it's um apple cider vinegar, but it has the word Maria in the on the bottom. Okay, and you you add two or three capfuls of that into some cold, cold water every time you eat. And I eat a lot, people. Not in one time, not at one time or one sitting, but throughout the day. Cake, um, chocolate, which is my favorite. Oh, my God. And I haven't gained a pound. Okay. Mm -hmm. Somebody told me about it or I saw it somewhere in a, in a video. And I tried it during quarantine, and I lost like 60 pounds. I lost a lot. Oh, my God. I'm full, people, but I want to eat because it tastes so good. Mom, what am I going to do? 
This just tastes so good. I think I'm gonna throw down this one. I don't know. <laughs> oh. You know, I always stop when I'm like feeling a little full because I stop and I evaluate if I'm full, if I could eat a little bit more, you know? And I am full. But it tastes so good. I'm gonna take another bite. Mm. Oh my god. Uh, uh, oh my goodness. <laughs> This is crazy. Oh my God. I know I told you guys already. When I like something really, really good, I like to dance. I like to get up and dance. And, and I don't know. And I can't do it because I'm in front of you guys and I'm sitting. Oh my God. Mm. Oh. Mm -hmm. I'm full. Oh my god, this is so good. <laughs> I get so happy when it's good food. Oh my lord. It's hard to explain. Only other people that enjoy eating good food, good flavored food, know what I'm talking about. We get happy. And I'm a fat girl inside. Okay? I always be, I've always been a big girl. Okay, and it's because I just like food. Look at look how beautiful it is. I just wanted to lift it up and show you the setup. It's so nice. This could be a thumbnail too. I can go like this. Yep, that's a, that. I got three thumbnails in that one. <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna put this down right because you already know what time it is. It's Gramita time. Gramita love time. For me and you. And you know, I always say, right? That I love you very, very, very much. And I'm so happy that you have seen this video. And that I have shared a little bit of my cultural food. Puerto Rican. You know, something that I grew up eating when I was little. That my grandmother and my mother used to make. And they used to hustle. They used to sell it. They used to sell it. I had to fix my shirt because my bra was coming out. Excuse me. Yeah, sometimes they got a mind of their own. But anyway, getting back to uh, our business here, right? That I love you very, very much from the bottom of my heart. Okay? And I want to thank you for watching my video to the end. Because you know why? You didn't have to, but you did. And I appreciate it. Okay? Please, guys, tap, tap, tap. All right? That like, share, and subscribe button. And also tap that notification bell. Okay? So you can get notified of all or any of my new videos coming out. Okay? And I hope you enjoyed my story. Thank you, guys. I love you.